Good morning. It's 5.15. You are currently stuck to the bumper of my car with my Octo Bunny. And my hair has a hair mask in it. Not Gracie. Just a hair mask. But what am I doing in the garage at 5.15? Well, two nights ago, we accidentally ripped a toilet paper holder off the wall. Like, in an epic fashion. So, I had to repair the drywall. And I love a good project. I'm completely delusional and I think that I can do anything. So Chad goes to Lowe's, he gets the drywall, drywall repair kit. And he's like, I also brought you home Starbucks and Chick-fil-A. Do you think you can do this project? Because he doesn't love a home project. I love a project. Yes, I can do that. I didn't need the Starbucks and Chick-fil-A, but I will take it. Thank you. So yesterday I patched the wall. It took a few layers because it was an epic hole. Epic hole. It had one of those really obnoxious drywall anchors in it that like go like this behind the wall. It's just, I mean, it took a chunk. I don't know how the hardware got broken. Anyway, so I found this paint that the previous owners had in the garage and it says downstairs, guest bath, laundry, Jack and Jill. Oh, it says downstairs. But this guest bath is upstairs. And this looks more beige. Oh, I've been shaking the wrong paint can. Okay, I went back to the paint corner of Doom. I don't know why that, I hate that area. But the first one I saw said upstairs, oh, upstairs baths. So maybe, um, Maybe I saw this one and picked up this one instead yesterday. So we're gonna reshake. Upstairs baths. The bath in question is in fact upstairs. Well, you can see you can have that piece, but you can't have this right. That's not gonna hurt you. Colin has lost a toy under the fridge. And it's getting messy. It's starting to get green out here, which is exciting because spring is coming, but awful if you're a parent of a child that suffers with really bad allergies because you know that allergy season is coming. So we will be traveling with inhalers and nebulizers and Claritin, and Claritin, and Claritin. <laughs> but it's gonna be so much prettier. I love it when like the woods behind our house are just all green and like the trees are swaying. I can't wait. I just took a middle of the day bath and scrubbed the crap out of my body. And I don't know if you can see it, but I took the little table that usually sits over there and <laughs> set it up next to the bathtub so that I could watch my um, iPad while I just sat in the bath. I don't think I sat down yesterday um, and possibly the day before just getting food ready, trying to clean the house. You know, there's like a joke that's like when people are coming over, you have to make your house look like no one lives there. Um, so we were really busy doing that. Uh, it was a really good, successful party. We had so much fun. Um, it was great. But now I've reset our house this morning and now I'm trying to reset myself. Um, Kennedy's at school. My dad came and took Colin around lunchtime. Um, Chad's working. I got my work done this morning and now I'm just like, just gonna put on all the lotion, sit in my sweatpants and be cozy. Although I do need to go drill the toilet paper holder back into the wall upstairs. But that, that shouldn't take too long. And I've got a car line. I love my Sol de Janeiro lotions. And I was just talking to my mom about it the other day and she, she loves hers and she's like, it goes so fast. Why does it go so fast? I said, mom, it's because we actually use it. Like I have lotions that will sit in my cabinets for years and they just sit and sit and sit. And then this one feels like it's going so fast. And I'm like, that's because I actually use it. So four 12 year olds love them and it catches some flack, but I truly love it. And it dries down so well. I do not 
like feeling sticky. I want to feel moisturized, but I don't want to feel sticky. So I just love it. I love it. Trendy, bandwagon, whatever you want to call it. I love this. I have like half an hour before I have to go get Kennedy and it's time to reinstall the toilet paper holder. So how do I do it before I have to go get her? I mean, I certainly hope that I can. Let's see. what it's like to try to film in a small powder room. <laughs> Had to hold the shower curtain back with the door and the tool bag. But look how cute this floor is. This is like one of my very favorite bathrooms. Um, we're gonna go get a magic eraser because that's not okay. I don't want um, pencil marks all over the wall that I just painted and the drywall that I just repaired. Mission accomplished. We're like three minutes before my alarm goes off to remind me to go get her. But look how pretty it is. It's perfect. So, yeah. I just talked to my camera for like a minute and a half and it was not recording. Happy Tuesday. Okay. To recap, <laughs> I just scrubbed my shower with the TikTok scrubby brush. Um, I got it for my mom for Christmas. They were out of town last week and I was like, can I please borrow your scrubby brush while you're out and not using it. Um, and then I didn't get to use it last week. So I used it this morning. I really like it. I scrubbed it until it ran out of juice. So I'm gonna recharge it. Um, I'm going to do a bang update today. I need to find the original video from when I had them cut back in the fall, but we're growing a lot. I wanna see like side by side. Um, Merit sent me their complexion sticks. We're gonna try that out today. I got invited to be on a team for a really special fundraiser for the Go Red campaign. So more details coming soon. I'm hoping to put together a really awesome like prize for um, donating. So I will give you more information on that when I have it. Um, yeah, happy, happy, really busy Tuesday. I don't know if this is a me thing or if this is an everybody thing, but I think that I just have one of those faces that people will tell their whole life story to. Maybe I just look friendly, I don't know. Um, but I just like mentioned, like Publix, I went into Publix to get my coffee creamer and it is overwhelmingly full of Valentine's stuff for tomorrow. There are balloons and a heart-shaped strawberries, heart-shaped steaks. Um, there's chocolate everywhere. Like I just ran in, got my strawberries and got out because that was very overwhelming. But anyway, I just made the comment to the lady at the self-checkout. I was like, you would think that Valentine's Day is tomorrow or something. And then she starts telling me like basically her whole life story. <laughs> and I'm like, I really gotta go. I got, I just, I was just making a comment. Like, I'm sorry, I can't sit here and have like therapy with you in the middle of Publix. But maybe that's what she needed today. I tried to be like really kind. Um, but yeah, I just, I think that I have a face where people just will tell me their whole life story. And I'm like, I just, yeah, I didn't ask for that, but thank you for sharing. Happy Valentine's Day. Chad got me a giant box of lint chocolate, which is my very favorite. And I want to eat them all right now. There's milk chocolate, extra dark chocolate, dark caramel, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. I can't wait. And it's like, it's huge. I would rather have one piece of lint chocolate than like all of the other chocolates. But anyway, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to bust into that in just a little bit. <laughs> it's like 8.30 and we've already lived a whole lifetime today um we were getting ready for school and i was packing kennedy's lunchbox into her book bag i was like honey why did you bring your headphones home because they have headphones at school with their like little laptops that they use and she was like oh well they're broken like, could you have told me yesterday that they were broken because i would have fixed it last night so um i was calling my parents to see if they could get Colin to school because I had to go find headphones for Kennedy. Um, Chad had a meeting this morning, so mission accomplished. Luckily, Target opens at 7 a.m. and 
it's fine. We, we got we got her the headphones and I brought some flowers to her teacher because she really wanted to give her teacher flowers for Valentine's Day. It was all fine and dandy and great, but a little stressful. Um, and Colin has a Valentine's party today at school. Um, and I feel like I'm missing something because I didn't sign up to do anything for this particular party. I mean, I've signed up for other parties, but anytime I don't have a specific role for a party, like, did I forget something? Did I miss something? Like, anyway, I didn't. She doesn't, she's got her Valentine's for her little classmates. We're all, we're all good. It's just my own neurosis thinking that I have forgotten something. Yesterday I spent the whole day trying to figure out something that I was, we had talked, I talked to this client about in December and other things popped up that were like, it was January, it was for our December analytics meeting. Other things had popped up that were more pressing and I just completely forgot about it. And then she was like, hey, have we done this yet? And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do that. I need to do it. So it's been all day yesterday rushing around trying to get that done. We're good. It's all it's all finished and completed, but stressed myself out unnecessarily. I didn't mean to not do it. It just other things popped up. So I was dealing with those. I don't know what I want to wear to this little kid party. Colin was like, Mommy, wear a pretty dress because she's a princess and she loves to wear her dresses. So she wants mommy to wear dresses too. Gotta figure that out. My hair, I slept funny and my hair looks crazy this morning. We just, we have a lot of pulling it together. Oh, and I'm getting, I'm getting a China cabinet tomorrow. It was mine. I was letting a friend use it because I didn't have really have a great place for it in my house. She's moving. It was my parents, so I don't want to get rid of it. So now I have to find a place for it here because like I was fine with it living at her house, but now she doesn't have a place for it. So I've got to find a place for it because it's really beautiful and it was my parents and it's just special. It needs to stay in the family. So I need to find a place for it before tomorrow. So yeah, that's, it's been a crazy week. How has your week been? Hopefully not quite as crazy because this is just good morning for me and my little plant babies um i'm still taking them inside at night because it gets chilly but they want some sunshine so i brought them out here the birds are chirping like spring is coming um so so thankful for that it was my parents china cabinet it's really beautiful furniture and i just don't i don't want to let it go so we found a spot for it here um, so we're about to go to her house, meet the movers, pick it up and have it brought here. Um, it's a little bit more traditional than like what our decor is, but I think it'll work well. And it's like, it's in my family and I don't want to just let it go. So we will see how it does, um, in this space. And of course this coincided with a really important meeting for Chad. So I'm like, uh, we'll be real quiet. <sighs> Let's hope he's going to be quiet and we don't bother him. But hopefully his meeting isn't too long. Um, and it like starts when I'm meeting the movers. So if they're a little bit delayed, it'll all be fine. All right, she's in. We were quiet for Chad's meeting. <laughs> like, I am so sorry. Like, he never has like... He has meetings all day, but this was like an important one. Okay. Like he has meetings all day long, but usually the girls are running in and out. He's like, no, I need to concentrate like extra hard on this one. So I felt so bad, but we were nice and quiet. And here she is with our Squishmallow that Winnie sleeps on because <laughs> she likes that more than her dog bed. Um, let me turn you around. I just took some dishes that I kind of already had to put in there, but I'm probably going to add some books and I want like some palm fronds up there and I need some curtains. I didn't want, them. it is gorgeous out here in the summer, all of the green leaves, but right now it's just looking a little sad. So I feel like some drapery texture would make it feel more homey, but um, I want to add some books and some plates and I think it's going to be a really pretty wall. Um, so yeah, 
I'm really happy with it. It's coming together. Two years later. Somebody was at my parents' house today. We were getting our tiny cabinet um, moved over and we don't want her running in and out, so she went to hang out with them. Are you so happy to be back? I missed you. I messed up Winnie's chewy order, so I'm making her scrambled eggs for breakfast and feeding her American cheese. It's on the way. Um, I just, I got my emails wrong. The one that was like, hey, we're getting your chewy order ready, I thought it should be a head shift. Do you hear these children? since four. Why? Why were they up since four? I don't understand. Anyway. Puppy dog is getting a bougie breakfast. She's very happy about it. I think it was a success. Let me see your bags. chocolate. I have one left. And then I have the white chocolate. Oh, I don't like white chocolate. So maybe I'll eat those tomorrow. But this trouble heart has just been incredible. I have loved everyone. Mm, so good. My mom and I went shopping today. We went to At Home and Home Goods and Target. Video on my Instagram of all the beautiful things that we found at At Home. But let me show you what I got. I feel like I could have bought that whole store, but I only brought home two things. Oh, four things. The girls are gonna freak out when they find me. Let me hide these real fast. How'd you so low on the table? Maybe, maybe this will be a little bit better. These lights are like super bright though. It's fine, it's fine. Um, I got two pieces of art. Um, I really wanted these large herring pictures that I found, um, but they weren't quite the right size. Like they were both too small and too big at the same time. Like, is that a thing? Cause they were like, they were, too small on their own but like as a pair they were too big for this space but i found this little guy how cute is he who's this thing and i thought it was so pretty these were like right near the front too and i was like oh that's pretty i like walked on by it and i thought if i don't buy that i'm gonna be really sad because nothing haunts you like the things you don't buy um so he's ten dollars put him in my cart and now he lives in my house. Um, so I will figure out where to put them. Um, I think my mom got a really pretty vase and a candle that smells so good. Um, and then at Target, it's such a sad day. Kennedy has moved across the aisle officially, like from the baby clothes to the big girl clothes. Um, so she needed some new leggings and t-shirts and things. And it was, a good, it was a good day. And then I came home to some good mail. My hair, I wore a hat all day. My hair is so flat. But tomorrow is hair mask day. So it's fine. It's fine. I came home and there were some TikTok shop items. I'm pretty sure I know what these are. Let's see. And I don't know how to link um, TikTok shop outside of TikTok. So I can't not post them below, but I can direct you there. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I knew what this is. This, my cosmetic travel situation really needed an upgrade. And I saw these and I just thought they were so cute. I, you know, I'm obsessed with anything block print. Um, so look at this little bag and it's got a little zipper. I just love the print. It has a couple of different prints, but the blue on this one like really spoke to me. But it's got a little mesh pocket in there. Like 
I think this is gonna be really good. Like a little train case. And then this one, let's see, I think this one has a little pouch. Yep. Oh, it's a little pouch. Oh, and it has like a little gusset, so it'll stand up. Looks like you can put a lot in here. Perfect, how cute. And I wanna say these were like really affordable. So if you wanted to like put together a little gift basket, like teacher appreciation is coming up, um, come in a set of two. So you could totally split these up and fill them up with goodies for your kids' teachers. Love them. And then this one, I'm also pretty sure I know what this is. Let's see. Here are the girls. My parents found my American Girl doll clothes from when I was little. And that is what they are currently playing with upstairs. It's like, it's like getting close to bedtime. It's really in there. Okay. Oh, here it is. Yes. Yes. You have seen this. If your For You page looks anything like mine, you have seen this all over. BK Beauty Brush. Um, I want to try all of them, but we are starting with, I think this is the foundation brush. It's a 101. Look at it. It's like, oh my gosh, it feels so good. Oh, it feels, it feels beautiful. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to, to use this. <laughs> I just, I just want to brush it on my face. Just do this. I mean to hard launch my YouTube channel today. I was filming a video for TikTok and I was just talking about um, how the mommy flamingos lose their pink when they have their babies and then they get their pink back. And I'm like, this is kind of what I'm doing as part of getting my pink back. I'm taking better care of myself. And then I just was mentioned that this is where I'm documenting it. Um, so if you're here from TikTok, thank you for being here. Um, I hope you enjoyed your first vlog. Uh, yeah, I just, it just happened. It was like natural, like I wasn't planning on doing it today, but it fit. Can you hear them? I don't even know what they're fighting over, but they're fighting over something. Um, but anyway, just, this has been a really fun experiment and I'm excited to see where it takes us. Is this year already coming up. Um, what'd you find? Oh, good. So, that's my cue. I gotta go put some little babies to bed. But I will see you next Sunday around 9.30. What do you think?